I'm drinking yerba mate, so everything's okay. What's up folks, Dave Mate, summer 2013, hot summer day, whatever man, whatever nature brings me, I'm going to experience it right now, it's about 90 degrees, I'm sweating, but I'm drinking yerba mate, so everything's okay. Salud. Let's represent some mind pedals today. Been going a couple years now, eh? Several years making videos, mind pedals. Uh, today I was inspired. I was thinking about life and a canvas and painting and colors. And this relates to a conversation I had with a friend the other day, a conversation that we often begin to discuss when we're together having mate circles, drinking this sacred drink. And we always come to the point where, sort of a juncture, where he says, listen, you know, uh, nothing matters. Because at the end of the day, things are gonna happen and nothing matters. And I say, listen, dude, be careful. Because, yes, you are correct, but you may fall into fatalism. You may fall into determinism which is the philosophy or the way of living where you say nothing matters, I'm going to do whatever I want to do because there's already a course of my life that's going to take place. There's nothing that I could change. There's already a future for me. I'm already predestined to do something, whether it be die tomorrow or make a million ten years from now or just sit down on my couch and eat uh, potato chips all day long. So I'm not going to do anything with my life. It doesn't matter. I have no power. And you know what? That's absolutely correct. You are able just to sit back and just whatever happens, happens. You are able to just read books all, all day, or you are able to just eat potato chips all day, you are able to just drink mate all, all day, or just be an asshole all day, or be kind all day. It's up to you. You have the choice, you have the power, you have the control. Absolutely. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with my friend who believes this. He is totally correct. But I think that even though you have the right to do something and the ability to do something, I don't believe that that means that you should be doing that. You know, just because you have the capability, it doesn't mean that you uh, have the mission to go into that direction. Now, the image that, I, that came into my head was the image of a blank canvas. Now, with this canvas is your life. And in this life, you can just leave it blank, totally blank. You've got a blank campus, tabula rasa, boom. Whatever happens, happens, baby. It's up to you. Or you could say, hmm, you know, let me get some paint. Let me get some blue, some green, some yellow, some orange. And let me not only just throw colors on there, let me paint a picture. Let me make something nice. Let me make something beautiful. That's life. You could decide to paint the picture. You could decide to mold that canvas into something amazing, something beautiful, something that the whole world could be inspired by. And I call that process discipline. It's called discipline. Why? Because you have the choice to lay flat on your ass and do nothing. God bless you. Great. That's your choice, but you also have the choice to paint that picture and to make an amazing, fabulous, ridiculous picture that lights up the world. That's also your choice. It's up to you. You know, oftentimes in this new age sort of thinking, you know, we got a lot of people who are reading philosophy, reading Osho, reading Eckhart Tolle, reading, you know, all these people. That's great. And they 
get into this whole sort of belief system where they have to, you know, sort of be the metaphysical police and say, Oh man, you know, go meditate, go meditate, go free yourself, come on, Zen, come on, Buddhism, come on, uh, Kundalini Yoga, come on, yeah! And they work themselves up into this New Age warrior, the Gestapo of uh, Enlightenment, and I find that pretty amusing. I find that actually uh, pretty backwards thinking because, you know, they went into that direction of Buddhism or Zen to, to free themselves, yet they became a dictator. Yet they became someone who's trying to command other people. Yet they became someone who's spreading uh, dogmatism and trying to push beliefs and trying to judge people. Judge not, lest ye be judged. So, <clears throat> what I want to say to you today is, you know, you have the right. You don't have to wake up. You could sleep. You know, it feels good to sleep, doesn't it? It's like the dude that's sleeping and he's dreaming of being a king and in that dream it's amazing, but someone comes and wakes him up and he's like, oh damn, why'd you wake me up, dude? I was dreaming, I was a king, and I was rich in my dream, I was amazing. Well, that dude has the right to dream. But in my heart, I feel that everyone's destined to wake up, you know. Uh, I feel that we're all headed on an upward trajectory of empowering ourselves, of becoming that artist, of fulfilling our maximum potential, which really is infinite. There really is no maximum. So when I see someone, you know, trying to write or paint and, you know, maybe they're horrible at it. I'm not going to say stop. I'm not going to say maybe that's not your mission because perhaps it's going to take them five, ten thousand years to become a great musician. And now they have begun. You must begin action. Maybe it's going to take thousands of lifetimes for them to become musicians, great ones. But at least they're starting. At least they're doing something. They have begun painting their canvas. But yet, the world, the general prescribe society wants to break that person down wants to say hmm well you're not gonna make any money so why are you doing it you know they're thinking utilitarian they're thinking pragmatism they're thinking your art doesn't mean anything unless it translates into dollars who has the guts the courage as I've always said in all these mind pedals videos to Pursue your passion to pursue who you are, which is, in other words, to remain yourself, to remain on your path, even though you may face difficulty. This is what I'm talking about when I use this word discipline. It's not easy to coax yourself, to sc sculpt yourself, to mold and shape yourself into the person that you, I don't want to say be, but the person that you want to improve, because you are who you are, but even though the grape is what the grape is, it can get sweeter, it can become more subtle, it can become more uh, enriched with complex flavors, and in like manner, so can you, so can your life. Your life can be that grape that ages and becomes sweeter and improves with age and time. But you must first begin the process. And that process is believing in yourself, really believing in yourself. 100% belief in yourself. And you must execute, execute, execute every single day, 100%. Even when you say, hmm, I'm not good enough, or this, this is not going so well, you must be able to pull yourself back up and keep on going. This is the discipline. This is the the training that must be done alone. No one could really do it for you. No one could truly inspire you. That Maybe they could help you a little bit, a little bit of inspiration, but that can only go so far. You must muster up the courage and the guts and the, and the determination yourself on a constant, constant basis. So, 
This whole thing about I could do this, I could be that, I could start this, I'm going to start that. All these sort of conditional statements, all these sort of future statements, all these sort of, you know, perhaps this, you know, perhaps that, you know, using the subjunctive tenses. No, that's all bullshit that must be thrown out. It must be thrown out. You must start. But here's the problem. We live amongst a sea of people of non-starters. We live amongst a herd of cattle of people who just talk and just dream but don't do anything. So we're constantly bombarded by an energy, a mass of people who never do anything with their lives. They just follow the herd and they stay in line and they never break any sort of barriers and they never dive deep into that infinite well of potential that lies in every single one of us. So this is what makes our job so hard. We're around a million naysayers. We are surrounded by the gatekeepers of an old philosophy, of an old way of doing things, of a shallow, dark, muddy, murky place that propagates sameness, that propagates, you know, don't go forward, don't do this, don't do that, just be one with us, which is dullness, mundaneness, you know, who has the courage to transcend that, to push beyond every single barrier, and to truly, fully believe in yourself, unequivocally, every single day. This is discipline, my friends. Paint your own picture. Salud, this is Dave Monte. Peace.